Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hey yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome to another video. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this one. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we're the latest fishing channel on YouTube. And also hit the notification bell right next to that because we upload three bangers every single week. And uh, if you guys have been enjoying the content recently, be sure to hit that like button. First thing I'd like to say, thank you guys so much for the support. On um, the support recently, and the videos have been kicking. You guys have been enjoying them. I've been enjoying making them. And I'm just happy that you guys are enjoying them, supporting me by watching them, liking the videos, commenting, that, that, that whole deal. But anyways, we're going to cut to the chase. Today, we're doing something a little bit different that I, I really don't do much. Is We're fishing with a lizard. All right, but we're not just fishing with any standard lizard. This is an 8-inch magnum lizard by Zoom. As you guys can tell, 8-inch magnum lizard. And we're going to be trying to catch some big Florida bass. And if you guys are wondering what color we're using, this is just a watermelon seed lizard, and this is a pretty big guy, man. I mean, I I, I, I assume some small ones that eat it too. I'm not expecting there to be all big ones. I don't know. I guess we'll see. We're gonna take this lizard to the, we're gonna put it to the test. We're gonna see if we can catch some big ones. We have one, two, three lizards left. How many fish can we catch on three lizards? Comment below, make your prediction. So we're gonna hop into the video, guys. We're gonna get this started. Thank you guys so much for the support. Like I said, if you have time to subscribe, be sure to do so. Let's get it popping. Alright boys, we got our little lizard on right here. Texas rig, eight inch magnum lizard. We're gonna try to get it rocking and rolling today. Hopefully we're gonna catch some big ones. I don't know what to really expect, but hopefully we smash some today. Yo, what the heck? Oh my God. I was crawling across some rocks right there. And all of a sudden, dude, that's right away, guys. I was like second cast. All of a sudden, like, he started to go to the right. Might be a bed right there or something. Oh, what is that? What is it? Is that a catfish? It looks like, a yeah, it's a catfish. Well, Alan's got the first fish. First fish of the day is a dang catfish. Yeah. What in the world? Got me a dang catfish. Bro. Good job. First fish. First, fish of, the first day. fish of the day. I guess a catfish, like the eight inch lizard. I guess we could say that. What the heck? All right, get him back in the water and let's keep going. Right. He's barely hooked. Well, at least we got the monkey off the back. <laughs> I guess, kind of. Kind of, right? I swear there'd be one on the edge of this grass, but. Did not snow. God, dog. Dude, that video is gonna be insane. Dude, I pulled the rod in the freaking water. GoPro dies right away. Perfect timing, guys. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys saw my rod. So, Alan, look. I was like this, and all of a sudden I'm just dragging it, and my rod goes zoom. Yeah, and I just like went up with him, dude, and it was just, that was crazy. Little baby guy for my first fish of the day. Alan caught him a catfish, and then we got a little fatty. Look at the stomach on this guy. Such a little baby. <laughs> Let's get back in the water, get back out there. My first fish of the day, gotta treat him right, get a fancy release. And then he kicks me in the face, what kind of crap is that? Well, we gonna get back out there, guys, see if we can catch another one. Hopefully they're loaded on this bank. All right, boys. We're going to see if we can catch us another one. That fish was literally the same size as my lizard, which is pretty surprising. But he hit the bait like fish like no other. I never even had a bite like that. A pole was going in the water. That was pretty crazy. I hope the GoPro caught that. I'm sure you guys got to see it. There should be one right here. Let's see. There he is. Oh, God, he ain't that. I got him under the chin. That's a good fish, though. Golly. I couldn't even move this guy. Here we go, boys. Look at that one. That's a solid fish right there. 
I hooks at him and he just didn't move. This is like two casts later, right where I thought he was gonna be. God, when I leaned into this guy, he did not move at all. That's a good solid fish, biggest fish so far. I took my lizard, but beautiful one. Let's get him back in the water. He's right here. I want you guys to look. He got all this grass, got all this wind pushing up. And right here, this grass ends and there's a little cubby hole. He's sitting right on the edge of that cubby hole. And man, what a beautiful Florida bass. If you guys are wondering, this is what I'm throwing. It's an eight inch magnum lizard and watermelon seed. This little sexy dude right here. And it is catching them now. Small ones, big ones, catfish. I wanna say big ones, we don't have a big one yet, but quality ones, all right? And it's just on a simple old Texas rig with the EWG hook, just like that. Throwing it on the edge of this grass. Simple as can be, bunch of wind coming up here just makes too much sense. And they are chomping this lizard. Right there. It's a beer. Oh, here he is. Oh my God, there he is. He ain't like giant, but he's a decent one. Get up here. <laughs> Dude, that's a hunchback, look at that thing. Usually their stomachs are fat guys. But this one's back is fat. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his back, it's just thick. That's stupid. That's a pretty fish though, man. Solid little two pounder. A little pretty fish. He looked a lot bigger when he jumped. But he put up a good fight. Heck yeah. Maybe we'll find some more. That fish looks so stupid, man. You look fat right here. See how fat he is? Thanks for biting, buddy. Oh yeah, he munched on that eight inch lizard, guys. It's gonna be good. We're looking for this big one, man. We're searching for these big ones. Ideally, we want one, you know, over four, obviously. I feel like once you catch like a four pounder, that's like a, considered a big fish in my opinion. A three, three and a half wouldn't bother me, but if we can catch like a seven to 10 pounder, that's when it really happened. We're gonna keep searching. Oh, sun feels so much better. heck man these fatties man they're all freaking chunky they're all healthy he's whistling my rod look at that man beautiful little florida bass a pretty one man about a pound and a half fat and thick choking this eight inch lizard man these guys love it beautiful bass oh god oh is he big Holy crap, Alan's got a toad. Here, I'm gonna help you land this. Get him out of that grass, though. Maybe about four or five. Oh, four pounder. He ain't that big. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. That's about a three and three quarter pushing four. Holy crap, let me grab this camera. Alan, uh, there we go. That's what we're talking about. That's a big fish, guys. That's a big bass right there. Oh, man, that's beautiful. That is so beautiful, man. Good job. That is a good fish, dude. Heck yeah, he's pushing four. He's pushing that four number. He's about three and three quarters, heck yeah. Good one, man. I'm proud of you. That's good. Alan, Alan was getting the monkey, the catfish monkey on his catfish back. But monkey. Then when you hook one like that, you cannot complain, dude. Nope. Heck yeah, bro. That's, That's good. good. That's good. Let's get back in the water. Let's try to catch another one. Your big Alan claw hands on you make them look tiny. <laughs> That's a good fish, bro. Heck yeah. Good job, man. Right. Proud of you. Boop. Guys, they're getting bigger. I feel like <laughs> we, we've upgraded. We have. All right, I started off with a catfish. Then it started with like an eight inch bass. It was about the same size as the lizard. And then it went to about a pound and a quarter. And then it went to about a pound and a half. Then it went to about getting around that two pound range. And now we just went to about a 
pushing a four pounder. Not getting, what, what's the next one gonna be? Is it gonna be like six? Is it gonna jump that quick? I don't know, this corner might be good. We're just, whew. Heck yeah, man, that's sweet. You guys are wondering what we're doing. All we're doing is throwing these big lizards right on this grass edge. It's got a little bit of wind pushing up in here. I know you guys can probably tell by the audio. I'm trying to avoid that, but they're just all up in this grass right here. Just covering this water, dragging this lizard really slow. And all these ones right up under this grass are just, you're just eating it, man. They're hammering it. And it's, it's just fun doing this, man. I, it's been a long time since I made like some videos of me fishing some slow baits like this, like Texas rigs, lizards, worms, crawls. And it feels good just to get out and kind of slow down and lean into one. So I got, you got to love hook setting into these fish like that. We're going to continue to go down this bank. I'm hoping we're just going to get a toad. We're upgrading every single time. You what? There might be some bees in there. What do you mean by might? So you're telling me I should run past this tree. <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> I don't know if I heard it. I ain't risking that. Dude, there's a fish on that bed. I saw him move. Yeah, throw in there. I'm talking about this one right here. Oh yeah, he's a good one. Oh shit. Get him up, Alan. Just pull him up. <laughs> Telling Alan a second ago, I saw a fish on that, and then he just yeah. came up and swallowed it. Heck yeah, dude. They're not getting bigger. That's a little smaller, but that's yeah. probably our second biggest or third biggest. Huh? About the same size as you caught, too. Yeah, like that's two, true. Two and a half. That's true. Pretty, man. Good job. God, we were whacking him. Alan caught him right off that bed right there. I thought I saw one move, and what was it, your yeah. first flip? Second flip. Second flip. <laughs> Heck yeah, dude. We whack. Dude, they loving the lizard. Lizard killing it. Yeah, just toss him in there. Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Cast my line out real quick. All right, guys. So we got a bed about in this corner. It's a massive bed. All right. We're gonna take this eight-inch lizard. We're gonna put it on there. I can't tell if there's a fish on it yet. I don't want to walk too too close on it, but let's. Holy cow. Bro, that was the calf, man. Yeah. Right there. <laughs> yeah, guy, I don't care. My heart is beating so fast. There was some fry in the middle of this bed. Yeah. And so I was like, all right, I'm gonna reel it in real quick, dude. And I was like about to put it over that fry. So I was already looking down at it. Dude, my heart is beating so fast. And it just, he just randomly came out from this and just hit it like a top water, dude. Holy crap, that was crazy. That was insane, dude. Was I thought he was very, I thought he was really big for a minute there. Like the way he hit it, but <laughs> it was like two pounds. Holy crap, bro. My heart is still racing. That probably scared some people watching. I can tell you it scared me. I'm not expecting that. Guess that's another way we could catch him. That's exactly what I was gonna do is throw it in there and reel it. Holy sh! I literally was throwing it out there to reel it in, and he already had it. Hey, there's a bed right here. Oh, you got him? Holy cow. How big is he? Alan Bob is. Oh! He broke me off. Bro, they are stacked here. I'm gonna have to run and grab my chatter. Bro, I just broke off. Allen Bob is freaking got one. I literally just broke off. Dude, I'm gonna go grab my chatter bait real quick. Let's get this in the water. You yep. Grab your chatter bait. We'll get back on it. Can't believe I broke that fish off. I, I missed two right there. They were chomping. That wind. I think they should eat this chatter bait. They eating that lizard like that. Ain't no doubt in my mind. Guys, they are freaking stacked out here. 
Noah just actually broke off a big one. And uh, this guy's really bleeding. Let's get him back in the water. Pretty fat. It's bleeding pretty bad. Let's get him back in. Off you go. There he is. Oh man, my reel's coming off. We can grab my chatterbait, guys. Look at that. Boom. <laughs> He's ripping that chatterbait on the edge of the grass. We were whacking him, guys. That's awesome. Saw the little two pounder pushing it. Let's get back in the water. God, it is happening, people. Right here on this bank. I missed that one, broke off that other, and then caught this beautiful one, ran and grabbed my chatterbait. And they're just munching. Then, Alan, you said you caught one too. Oh, yeah. Just eating, guys. We were whacking them today. Crazy the fact that this is actually after a full moon. Today. I don't know if I said that, but last time it was a full moon, usually they're feeding all night. And I mean, <laughs> that's not affecting us at all. We're still whacking them. Wow. Heck yeah, boys. Beaming the chatterbait. I see, I love to fish like this. I love to be catching them on. An old chatter, chatter donkey right now. But this is like a lizard video, but I mean, we're whacking them on a lizard. Alan Bob's got a lizard on. I'm gonna chuck this for a minute and just see if I can hook a few. I was ripping that thing up and he just slammed it. This wind is helping that bite a lot though, I can tell you that. This wind beaming right past the grass edge right here. I'm chucking a chatterbait. Can't get any better than that. Get him. Oh man. Oh, there you go, Alan Bob. Heck yeah. There you go, Alan Bob. With another fish, do another one. <laughs> Whacking him. Another, another one. one. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Put a little show on. Good job, Alan Bob. Bow. I feel like this colored chatterbait is definitely not it, or I'll be getting bit more. I feel like it either needs to be the black and blue, or the white, or the lizard. The lizard's killing it. Since I have the chatterbait out and the wind's not too bad right here, I'm just throwing a little custom chatterbait. It's not the best color that I want to be throwing. I'd like to be throwing like a white and chartreuse or like a white or uh, like a black and blue. This is the one I'm throwing and, and pretty much how I caught that one fish was just stroking it up like this, which is a very productive way to catch some chatterbait fish, especially ripping it through grass. Um, but recently I've been, you know, jigging it on the bottom kind of like this, just working out like a jig, letting it hit the bottom and just kind of hopping it and letting it chatter. And that's been a really productive way to catch them too. I mean, I've caught a lot of fish recently doing that, especially when they're not really wanting to eat it. Like to a day like today, it seems like they're really wanting that Texas rig worm lizard type deal, like slow moving profile of bait. And uh, they're not really wanting something to, to chase in a way. So, you know, with this chatter bit, what I would do is pretty much work it slow on the bottom, just like this. And I promise you, if you guys go take this, you know, your lake or pond, wherever you're fishing, go give it a try, especially on a tough day where they're not eating it. I'm telling you, it can be really dangerous. Just hopping it like this, around the bottom like a jig, working it really slow, just like a slow moving bait. And that little chatter, it kind of piss them off. Especially if you throw this thing on a bed, you know, they'll gobble it up in a heartbeat. Well, boys, it's sadly to an end of this video. I know this seems like a depressing moment with me sitting on a little wooden bench in a park, but it kind of is, man. The video's over, and I know it was a fire video. I hope it was fire. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, and you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We're the latest fishing channel on YouTube, and that's a verifiable fact. If you guys haven't already, hit the notification bell right next to the subscribe button. So it sends you post notifications every single week because we upload three bangers. If you guys have been enjoying the content or if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button. And uh, yeah, leave a comment below on what challenge or what type of video that you guys want to see next. I'm trying to put in a variety of like challenges, pond videos, kayak videos, lake videos. We're doing a little bit of everything out here um, because we just love fishing and that's, that's the point of this one. Yeah, well, thank you guys for your support. I love you guys so much. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Beat it up, beat it up. Give it up, give it up. They gon' try you, they can't stop you. Eat it up, eat it up. Pac Man, Pac Man. Pac Man, Pac Man. Pac Man, Pac Man. Pac Man, Pac Man. Whoa. Beat it up, beat it up. Give it up, give it up.